Hello, Dan here, coming to you from the Vlog Shed. So one of the questions I'm commonly asked is, are Rhys and Muller worth the extra money? And there's no getting away from the fact that uh, Rhys and Muller bikes do tend to cost more than a lot of the other bikes on the market. But I think one of the things that we need to take into account is that the bike market and electric bike market in much the same way um, is a very competitive market so you don't find people just charging any old price um, because they can they have to be competitive so the prices have got to be competitive and this basically means that when you get a bike that is costing you more money you're actually getting more bike for the money so in the case of Reese and Muller that could be the addition of um, larger batteries higher grade and um, components that are going to be put on there, more components, um, you know, lights, pannier racks and all that sort of thing, um, but generally you're getting a far better quality bike. Good examples of this uh, within the Reese Muller range are looking at things like the addition of either um, an Enviolo hub, so a continuously variable gear, or a roll-off hub. Um, both are supplied with a belt drive, so getting away from the old um, dirty oily chain that needs maintenance, needs maintenance and moving to something which can be left in the garage um, and it's just there ready to use when you get back to it. Um, so, so generally, um, whilst they are more expensive, you are getting absolutely incredible bikes. And maybe you can see sort of across um, comparison to other bikes out there that people commonly buy, like high bikes or cubes or anything like that. Um, you can see anywhere from sort of 500 to 1,000 pounds on top, depending on the uh, specification you go for. Uh, the 1,000 pounds tends to be if you go for the uh, roll-off E14 ele electronic uh, gear shift that's on it. But also, one of the major features of Reese and Muller bikes is the number of combinations of bikes that you can go for. So, there are estimated to be around about 12,000 different combinations of uh, Reese and Muller bike you could choose. Um, and every single one is going to be factory made for you. So, you can sit and go through the catalogue, um, you can choose obviously the size and the colour of the bike, you can then choose the gearing that you're going to go for, you can choose the options, the off-road packs, the comfort packs, the pannier racks, all sorts of different options um, to make that bike specifically yours. And when you order it from Reese and Muller, uh, we put our order directly with the factory and then normally we expect within three to four weeks that bike is going to turn up in the showroom ready for us to build and then to hand over to you. And let's not forget, Reese and Muller aren't competing to be the cheapest bike on the market. Um, they're trying to position themselves as the very best quality bike, and they definitely hold their own in this space. Um, and as you look across e-bikes generally, um, having had experience of uh, making my own bikes, um, buying cheaper bikes, then you know, having ridden them all, once you come to ride a recent Muller, you can really feel the difference. So it, it really is important to uh, recognise that there, there is something that you're paying for that goes a lot further than just the, the details that are written on a page. Um, so if you'd like to find out more about uh, why they are such fantastic bikes, I highly recommend having a go on one. Thank you.